Uh, we need some dynamite. Just a bit. Loco, speaking of American delicacies, on a website called Delish. Bro, my entire fucking... What is this website? My entire browser is crashing because of this website. What did you link just now, dude? My Microsoft Edge is no longer working, dude. Close the program? Okay, it's working again. It's working again, guys. We don't have to panic. Let's look at this American delicacy. Wendy's T-Rex burger is now extinct? <laughs> Are you saying this is something you could go and buy at Wendy's? Which from what I understand is a breakfast place. Right? Isn't this supposed to be a breakfast place? It's not a breakfast place? Or am I thinking of something else that is a breakfast place that sounds similar? Wendy's is not a breakfast place? Oh. Oh, Denny's! Denny's, Wendy's. Same difference. I've never been to either, I guess. Wendy's nuts? No, 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 no. Denny's? No, no, hold up. That doesn't make any sense. Hey, the thing is working. I need to put up some power. A little bit of power over here. Is this going to be connected? How do I know if it's connected? I think it has to be connected in the front. Pretty sure. What's up, Damage? Hello. All these white people names? <laughs> yeah, Danny, Wendy. What's the difference, man? So they stopped selling that T-Rex burger? Man, that's so sad. I was just about to go out and get some. Dude, I want to let you guys know that every single time I've been to the US, that I've been even remotely close to Chick-fil-A, I always get excited that I get to go to Chick-fil-A. But every single time I'm this close to going to Chick-fil-A, it's a fucking Sunday? This has happened on like, I want to say 10 separate instances. I have never in my life been to Chick-fil-A because it's always Sunday. Yeah, for some reason, it seems to always be Sunday. Either I'm flying or, or like home on the, on the, like they have a, they have a Chick-fil-A at like the LAX airport, at least they used to. It's always fucking close, dude. For some reason, my flights out are pretty much always on. Yeah, chicken, chicken is, is, is illegal on Sundays or something. I don't really know. <sighs> Wendy's nuts. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ogila. I should get cravings not on Sunday. That's a good point. I'm building my scaffolding for the pyramid. This is how they built the pyramids. I think we figured it out on this stream today. Somebody get the archaeologists together. There are ten types of people in the world. Those who understand binary and those who don't. There you go. That's a cube loco, not a pyramid. The pyramid is gonna go on top of it, of course. Can you guys not reach that? You need me to make... Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, we're gonna make a pyramid. I have 20 unemployed bots? My sub months are over the hill. That's beautiful, Boiler. Or, wait. Thank you very much. 40 months. Wait, 40 is over the hill? Is that what you're saying right now? Yikes, dude. That's gonna upset guys in the chat. Yeah, no, that's gonna really upset him, dude. Thank you very much for the 40. Um... District 2. I think I'm gonna need four more beavers there. Or four more bots, rather. Does that mean I have to end my sub if it gets too old? Uh, no, no, no. I would not worry about that if I were you. Don't worry about that, Pyro. Never, dude. Just keep it going. Never cancel it, is what I say. I'm not biased at all, though. So I recommend you listen to me. I'm gonna let my robot parts be made by robots. It's a good idea. Um, what about my... My loop factory? Yeah. Oh, I don't have enough science points for that. Okay. What about the hydroponic garden? Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to set up a... Um, a second one of these things. Another number cruncher. Because I'm not crunching enough numbers as it is. It's just kind of tricky because I don't have the room for it. This, this building is so awkwardly shaped that building it is actually kind of tricky. Did I get in and out in California? I have had in and out, yeah. The thing about in and out though is that guys in the chat hyped me up for it for years. And they're like, oh my god, Loco, this is gonna be the greatest thing! And it was, you know, it was okay. But because, you know, I, I was I was a little overhyped for it. Yeah. Have I ever had Burger King? Burger King we have in the Netherlands. I had some, uh... I talked about this on stream at the time, and people were like, Well, Loco, that's your problem, because you didn't get the, s the secret menu. It's like... It's a secret! How am I supposed to know about the secret menu? If it's not on the thing, how am I... How am I supposed to figure that out? There's no way, guys. You just sneak in? You ask chat? I ask chat for everything, to be fair, Pyro. Do I want to really give you guys this burden? Yeah, actually, no. If I would have thought about it, sure. Interesting business strategy. The customer is not worthy. That's what I should do, dude, for my subscriptions. Guys, we have a secret menu. Right here on this website. It is called Tier 2 Subs. But only cool guys... ...can figure out how that works. Yeah, yeah, only the coolest of guys in the chat can figure that sort of thing out. You get secret emotes... ...a secret superiority complex as well for the other guys in the chat. That's pretty sick. I do recommend it. Totally cool guy here, I guess. <laughs> it worked! Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Shield of Gods.
Very nice. Thank you, Stuart, for the 30. I think I'm good without the secret menu, Kek. Kek. I get it, I get it. How's my pyramid coming along? It's not. They're they're putting down dirt though. Giant shrimp gave a sub to the secret menu. Ooh. Spicy. Just like the secret menu emotes. Spicy indeed. Tricked another one? No, no, no. We call it convincing, okay? We don't call it tricking. Even if it is a trick, which it isn't. I'm running out of lumber at this rate, dude. But as long as there's a, a dirt pile, I guess we're good. Low Daddy is a tier 3 sub. <laughs> hey, bat tight ended. Noise. I already have a massive woodcutter's district, though, right over here. I don't think I really need more of it. Although my woodcutter camps are going down. Um, I just built a bunch of important stuff though, so I guess that may be the reason. What's going on, Rumpus Television? How are you, dude? Guys, I watched the first episode of the live-action version of, what's it called, Avatar, The Last Airbender. I'd never seen that entire show ever in my life. I feel like I'm basically a weeb now. No, 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 I'm officially a weeb now. It was actually pretty good. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. I now understand why the guy has an arrow on his head. I've always wondered about that. I never really knew. I haven't seen the OG series, no. I feel like the OG series may be more fun though, because I'm never really... I don't know. I should probably go check it out. Not watching the live action show without the cartoon loco? Bad? Did you just call it a cartoon? Bro, that's disrespectful. Oh, I need... I need... Uh... South Park is my personal favorite anime. The OG series is amazing. Yeah, I heard so. Um, I need some science. Oh, the science goes in a barrel. I forgot about that part. We need some science juice. They cut some so much from the animated show. Yeah, I can imagine. I may check out the anime. I think it's probably fun. But, where the hell can you watch the anime, guys? Is this gonna be that question again? Is it- is it something you can just fucking watch without needing to seal the- the internet seas? It's on Netflix? Oh, okay. Oh shit, I forgot about this part. It is at the second level. <laughs> Thank you, David. You found some people that stream Dragon Ball on Twitch? Oh my god. Yeah, it's funny, right? Like, it's a problem as soon as copyright owners complain, but if they don't... 
<laughs> Apparently it's fine. It's a weird, yeah, it's a little bit weird. It's the same when people used to fucking like stream like full seasons of Master Chef. You're like, what? How is this? <laughs> How is this okay? Ugh. You do love some Master Chef, yeah. It's a good show. Okay, so we've actually kind of started making use of the amount of electricity that I'm producing right now. What is this gonna? This huge pile of dirt. It's gonna be, bro. It's gonna be my pyramid. Now, do we need to have a burial chamber, Chet? I think we need to have a burial chamber in here somewhere. Absolutely. They gotta yeet me in my box. I don't know what my burial chamber is gonna look like, though. Um, it needs to be solid. You apologize for the rudeness. I get it, I get it. It's okay, man. Um, it needs to be solid. Oh, I could, I could put a, um, a small warehouse down and we can fill it with whatever we like. And then we can bury it. I think that's the play. I think that's the play. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely the play. It's gonna be right over here. In the middle. I think that's the middle. You can't wait to see a pyramid made out of stairs? No, it's gonna be made out of dirt. Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay. What are we gonna put in here though? What is my most valuable resource? Bot heads? <laughs> I, can, I can put a body in here. Yeah, it's a very expensive thing to do, I guess. But I feel like that is appropriate. Yeah, we'll put we'll put a bunch of bot hats in here. We'll put friendship in here. Usually, usually what they put in here was everything they would ever need in the in the afterlife. All I need in my afterlife is a head. I just need a skull, just one skull. Is this reachable? I don't think it's reachable. I may need to do another one. You would need one loco TV sub in the afterlife. That's beautiful, man. Thank you, Bunny. I will take that as a compliment. Um, I still have a lot of uh, unemployed robots, which is not a good thing. Robots are meant to be used. Don't tell them that, though. How do I... Which one is the... the ah, here we go. This is that screen. Bot assemblers? I still don't have enough science points for that. Farmhouses? Yeah. Fermenters? Now, I know what you're thinking. Fermenter. I just met her. Right. Um, grease factory? Okay. Can't have anybody working my loop factory yet, but... That'll be done soon enough, I'm sure. Thank you, Bruce Lee! Uh, didn't really think about this very well, did I? So really just the usual. Maybe it's fine actually. Maybe I can do it with, uh, with one single staircase. Is that a lot? I think that's actually accessible. Thank you, Hank Tank and Bruce Lee for the support. Appreciate it. Thank you. Is it legal to ferment someone? <laughs> I don't know, man. That's a weird question. This reporter can only guess no. You know who are supposedly 
the most likely candidates for grave robbing back in the day. Because they put all these false passageways, right? And the difficulty of finding the entrance and all that. Very, very tricky. Turns out, apparently, the most likely candidates for the grave robbing were the people that built <laughs> the freaking pyramids. I guess it makes sense. They knew everything. Yeah. Okay. I think this is enough heads. You guys really want to put more heads in here? No, I think this is enough heads. This is enough heads. Yeah, perfect. I hope that icon is not going to be constantly there. <laughs> That's going to make it pretty easy for, for them to find where, I, where I'm buried. I wonder if... Oh! I can't build on top of it? Can I build on top of it after... I have... Never mind, guys! The heads are still there, though. The bot heads are still there. That's actually... Just fine, I guess. I don't know how this is gonna work out, because now there's a chance that it's just gonna get pushed up. And that the bot heads will just appear on top of the pyramid. Or they will sh slide off the side. Yeah, I think that will probably get pushed out. What am I building? Every reasonable player's structure. Okay, we're building a pyramid. Yeah, the rubble here is gonna be a bit of a mess. Can you guys build that one first, please? Thank you. That's okay, Dark Server. You'll get to it, man. You'll figure it out. It's gonna be a small pyramid. It's not the size of the pyramid that matters, though. It's about what you do with it, guys. Actually, I do think it's actually about the size of the pyramid. Yeah, no, that actually definitely matters. A larger pyramid is definitely preferable to a smaller pyramid. Yeah, it's definitely about the size. And the material, too. Right? Like, say you make a pyramid out of cardboard. It's not the same as making it out of, like, fucking granite or something. Yeah, I think larger is better. Just like with many things in life. Whoa, I have a lot of coffee. Nice. Very good, very good. You think it's about the girth of the pyramid? Well, usually it's a square. Right? It makes sense to start with a square foundation, so... Um... I don't think the girth is really necessarily that important, but I guess we all have our preferences. Yeah, they would start with a square base, right? Imagine having a small pyramid, LMAO. I know, dude. That would be a bit cringe. Mad cringe, dude. For real, for real. No cap. On God. I don't know how far I need to go with my... Uh... I'm, I'm using the ramp theory. The spiraling ramp theory. I can't put something on top of it. I can put... 
Hmm. What should I put on the top of it? So the top is either a one by one or a three by three. I see we are Yo! playing the Dutch simulator again. Four years! Thank you very much. I should put a tree on there? A tree at the top? Just one that is just there? I kind of like that actually. Yeah, a pine tree to cap it off. Because, you know, this is clearly pyramid shaped. Would you say that's coincidence? Would a windmill fit on top of it? Uh, we don't have windmills actually with this one. This one only has water wheels and engines. Otherwise, a wind wheel would have clearly been the correct choice. We do have these things, large power wheels, but they're not quite the same thing. I could add a brace here as well at the top, actually. A brazier might actually be better. Better than a tree. I like the idea of a brazier. We could also add dozens of braziers. Yeah, yeah, it should be a single layer. I can maybe put braziers on every corner. I don't really need to go this far. I'm getting a little carried away here. Maybe I do need to go further though. Never, never such a thing as too many brazers, yeah. Um. There we go. I'm building a, uh, yeah, yeah. This is the likely way to build pyramids, but... Supposedly, the pyramids back in the day, supposedly they were capped with a golden thingy. Like a golden stone, all the way at the very top. Which is kind of sick. There are recreations of what they would have actually looked like back in the day. Yeah. Supposedly... It should have looked like that. Uh, it should have looked like that back in the day, which is kind of insane. <sighs> it would have been very tricky to look at, though. Like if the if the sun is shining on this and there's a gigantic, you know, triangle-shaped white structure in the middle of the fucking desert, it would be insanely difficult to look at. Yeah. Which sounds pretty amazing, to be honest. Very impressive that aliens knew how to put that together, man. <laughs> you can say many things about the aliens, chat, but God. They sure built some useless shit. Yeah, it's freaking Protals. Why do you guys think of Protals Nexus? Looks triangular, Chet. It looks very similar to ancient structures that seem quite mystical to us. Hmm. Coincidence? I think not. Uh, where's my, um... Brazier. 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 They're channeling cosmic energy to the tip where the ships landed to refuel? Oh, is that the current working theory? That makes perfect sense.
Dum bum bum. Look at them, man. Going around and around and around. There's just one brazier that I missed because there's a currently a staircase on it. Uh. Oh, happiness is going up naturally because there's a lot of braziers and a pyramid shaped structure now. I have an injured beaver, five of them. At least we're no longer having that issue with uh, the robots though. I have 15 unemployed robots? Oh my God. I think we might actually be getting to the point where we do want to start unemploying every single regular beaver. Honestly, we may be at the point where we just have surpassed the final generation of beaver. Because why keep the beavers around? What's the point of the beaver, Chet? Just let them die out. Let the robots take over every job. Robots are better than beavers in every way. Yeah. I can definitely do that. The age of the robot begins. So I currently still have 14 employed beavers, but that is just a limitation on science alone. I should probably pause a few of these things as well. Because I don't need that much. Look at them. They're so happy right now. A new level of happiness has been achieved. I, I think you can play this without any living beaver, yeah. That's automation, propaganda, true. Forty-two. Forty-three. I can make one beaver and just make him super happy and we can get an insane score. He basically gets zero time to work. We can have like one very elite group of, of beavers just out of one little pod. I'll let them all die out first and then we'll probably re-enable one of the pods. It's time for a dynasty of beavers that do nothing but sit around and have automation do everything. Yeah. Call him Neo? I should. Look at this guy, 72 years old. Final generation of beaver. That's beautiful, man. Low daddy, low you woo. You woo. Thank you very much, the D hunter. I'm thinking about making another small little one over here. Small little one. Not my nickname in college. Thank you very much, D the hunter. 121 months. It's a long time. That's over 10 years. A long time. That's like a century, dude. Yeah, almost. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would work.
Dude, I have become the fucking creator of pyramids. <laughs> Didn't mean for this to happen, but... Before you were a sub, you had a lot of hair, and now no more? Yeah, this is what happens to you, Chet. You become a loco TV sub, immediately you start balding. That's just how it goes, man. But that's a sacrifice you're willing to create, right? That's that's a sacrifice anybody's willing to make. Absolutely. Molding or balding? That's a good point, actually. Maybe he's just molding. Back from the Heroes of the Storm days. Dita Hunter did a lot of molding back then. Maybe if you would have gone for a tier 2 or a tier 3 sub, it would have never been an issue. Yeah. Yeah, Midden is right. Pulled out by the streamer. Yeah, hair loss is just RNG, guys. Not much you can do about it. When is the part where we sacrifice little Timmy to the pyramid? Uh, no, hold up, hold up right now. Slander. Slander, hello. That'll be on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, next week, Tuesday. You think hair loss is a skill issue? Yeah, just roll better genetics. Nah, maybe your testosterone levels are just too high, you know? Naturally born... Naturally born bodybuilder. Why do you think all top tier bodybuilders are bald? Is there anything else you guys need to do here? Not really, eh? Okay, we're almost done. Now we have to demolish everything. This is tedious as hell. I'm gonna have to clear the rubble as well. Would I be playing V Rising again when 1.0 hits? Uh, maybe. I mean, I have played that game for quite a few hours already. It was really fun though, last time we played. We currently still have 63 regular beaver humans. I mean, beavers. Okay, that is the last part of the pyramid done. I will have to remove all the rubble. Man, this is more work than the actual pyramids. How long alone could that have possibly been to, to make? A couple days? Okay. 12 days? I think so too. I actually kind of want to put some dynamite up here. Yeah, hold up. We gotta do a little bit of dynamiting. You think it's about two to five days? Yeah, I think so too. Um, I'm gonna do some dynamiting over here. To give it a bit more of a straight edge.
and also over here. Okay. Let us delete the rubble in the meantime. Which is a very tedious process. Like, you can select all of the things. But it only does it one level at a time, like one layer at a time. <laughs> so it's a bit weird how they manage this in the game. I don't quite understand why they do it this way. Like, rather than just allowing you to select everything on the screen, they're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> that would make too much sense. See, now that the pyramid is done, a new level of happiness has immediately been achieved. That just makes sense. Okay! There it is! <laughs> It's kind of pretty. Do I have to remove these blocks? Mm, I think I will remove those blocks. Yeah. This does look like a landing port for aliens. I'm actually going to do it from the other side. I think that's easier. It looks kind of nice. What do you mean? It actually looks kind of nice. Hello? What were you expecting? Hold up right now. It actually looks kind of nice. Uh, hello? Excuse me? We've had one pyramid, yes. What about second pyramid? That one's already begun. Right over here. Oh, they've already finished the first part of it. Um. Now make a pyramid with a big ass fountain on it. No, we still have a monument to unlock. It just takes 12.5k science and it's kind of expensive. So I don't know if I'm going to bother with it, but. There is a there is still one monument that we can get. It just takes a while before we get there, I guess. Um, let me see. There we go. So we got to change some priorities up here. So hopefully they will actually build it in order because otherwise it's going to be a little annoying. I think this works. Uh, so I have two of these automated things. Two of these um, number crunchers. And they seem to generate quite a bit of it. So every hour of in-game time that goes by, they generate 10 each. So it does build pretty quick. It's just that I also need to still spend science on automating every job. So... I already have the majority of the jobs automated, but say, the, yeah, this is 2,500, so. The smelter. Are the beavers dying out? Ah, uh, that's one way to put it. <laughs> that is, yeah, that's one way to put up, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dying out is one way to phrase that. I'm gonna put one round of these over here, too. Okay. We get very squared off water. It's not like, uh, I like my water straight. It's, yeah, it's more population control. Hey, Ilansky, thank you very much for the eight month resub. Oh. 
I guess this works. What are my favorite coffees to get from a coffee shop? I uh, don't really go to coffee shops very much, to be honest. I make basically my coffee always at home. Like a normie. Ugh. How boring. The fact that you didn't say Americano means that your US citizenship is revoked? Yeah, do people drink a lot of Americanos in America though? Because whenever I see videos of people that go to like, I don't know, Starbucks or whatever, it's basically people buying desserts, right? Like it's uh, very little black coffee. <laughs> Isn't an Americano always black, or am I crazy? Like, is, isn't it just a shot of espresso with a little bit of water? America is the answer to every question, Loco. All right, all right. I don't like black coffee. Yeah. I mean, I also do like other coffee, don't get me wrong. I just don't really love drinking calories, I guess. <laughs> That's basically what it comes down to. Okay. There it is. That's actually kind of nice. The best coffee you can buy is from Tim Horton. Tim who? Timmy. I'm on a first name basis. Tim Horton, here's a who? One of the best movies. Okay. these things right over here there's more sugar in most Starbucks drinks than your daily recommended intake but sugar tastes good dude woo woo thank you very much cypher appreciate that Well, daily recommended intake for sugar is like, what, 30 grams or whatever? It's not a lot, man. What's going on, Monkey Man? A real gun. Appreciate it. There's sugar in lots of stuff. One of my favorite examples of that is the fact that, at least back in the day, there was a problem with this. Subway in the Netherlands is not allowed to sell their subways or their subs and call it bread because apparently the sugar content in the bread puts it in cake category. Um, I don't know if they've ever reduced the amount of sugar or whatever, but they never talk about bread. They always talk about subways or subs, so it's technically not considered bread. <laughs> Which I think is pretty fucking funny. Yeah, this is pretty great. I rarely go to Subway, but I always think about that whenever I go. I'm like, yeah, this is, uh... According to the Dutch uh, laws, this is not technically bread. Kind of funny. I don't know, man. It's difficult. Like, if you want to cut out sugar entirely, it's very tricky. It's also not really realistic. I think it's just something you kind of want to pay attention to, you know? You also have to live life. Gotta try a little bit, though, I guess. Ooh. 
A dead robot! 70 years old! Sad. Yeah, everything in moderation. It is possible, but... At least I have the tendency to immediately go to the extreme end of things, you know? Like, okay, well, I guess sugar bad. I'm never gonna eat sugar again! But I think a bit of moderation is a good idea, yeah. Keto is pretty great, though, yeah. If you, uh... Want to lose weight or whatever? Seems very, uh... Straightforward, but still. <sighs> you ate a tub of Ben and Jerry's last night before bed? Dude, I see that all the time from bodybuilders, Bunny Warren. You're just bulking, okay? They call that the bulk. It's okay. Those big boy bodybuilders, they eat a tub of Ben and Jerry's all the time. <laughs> Great way to get your calories in for today. You're on a perma bulk? Nice, dude. Mm -mm -mm. 